This is Grand Master Belial, addressing all warriors of the First Company. Forged from countless ships in the seething forces of warp space, a space hulk has been deposited here by the uncaring tides of the Immaterium. I have dubbed this drifting lair of abominations Olethros. A hive swarm of Tyranids already besets the system. So while the honored warriors of the Death Wing embark upon the purging of this Space Hulk, our brothers shall assist the Astra Militarum and Imperial Navy in destroying this tendril of the Great Devourer. Command of the assault belongs to an epistolary of the Librarian, a deadly battle psyker of the chapter. Leading a specially assembled squad, the Librarian will investigate abnormal auger returns and psychic emanations from within the Space Hulk. Premonitions. The ether gifts me visions. I see a threat far more deadly than gene hungry tyrants. A scream and a dark promise. A ship in the shadow, a relic from our secret past. I feel the tightness in my gut as I see a cataclysm as yet unseen. The Opera Mortalis descends upon us. The shadow of death. Brothers, the first scans of the Space Hulk have revealed a dark angel ship that dates back to the Age of Heresy. It is located in the heart of the Olethros Space Hulk. This ship from our ancestors seems to be protected by a mysterious energy field. Teleportation to the ship is currently impossible. The only way to reach it is through the main mass of the Space Hulk. Reaching this ship is your primary concern. Trust your battle brothers to deal with the rest of the Olethros. Brothers, retribution is at hand. It is our strength. We are the sons of Caliban. Let fury guide your weapons. Let vengeance be your song. We are the angels of death and our enemies shall fall! Brother Librarian, the initial boarding strike is proceeding, but we have lost contact with Squad Gideon. Your sensorium should receive Gideon's beacon signal, though it will be weak. We need Squad Gideon to secure the breaching zone. Locate them as quickly as possible. When you are successful, proceed to secure the landing area to establish the full bridgehead. Praise the Lion! Gideon's beacon channel to you. Swift vengeance.
My prescient power lets me see a prediction of the future. Shades fight on. The Hopakari team is going to retrieve their Hokai lands once the bridgehead is established. They will live on in popular. I have an anomalous signal return. Verify it first. Grid at any cost. Our foes approach quickly. We must reactivate local defensive systems to secure the data.
The activation of the generators has woken a dormant gene stealer swarm. It is time to establish the bridgehead to allow the main force to breach. Go to your assigned battle zone with your command squad. Zealous hold in now. Hold position. Glory to the Emperor. Glory to the Lion. Head secured. This is only the start. Commence the hunt for the war. We located the ancient Dark Angel ship in the heart of the Space Hulk. After finding out that Squad Gideon had been slain, we fought a horde of Xenos as we conducted investigatory missions to uncover this enigmatic vessel from our dark and distant past. The Deathwing moved to secure entry into the old ship, while we overcame the energy and psychic defenses created by the Gene Stealers. Hard fought was the battle, but the bridgehead had been established, and progress to our objectives continued. We are the Emperor's Blade. We have encountered Gene Stealer hybrids armed with ranged weaponry. They're launching counterattacks against the perimeter, threatening the integrity of the landing zone on the Alethros. Looking at our scan data, the Tech Marines have advised that the hybrids may be able to sever the ship where our squads are currently located, to propel it into the gravity well of the nearby planet. To prevent this, we must disable the propulsion system in this sector. If the enemy succeed, we will be forced to withdraw and return in another costly breaching assault. Precious time and lives will be wasted. The Emperor abhors failure. We have to quickly destroy the Archaeotech engine. Nothing can be done hastily and prudently, not Marikyo. So answers an apothecary.
of Zenos in the adjacent battle zone. The lion guides our fury. We have to prevent the enemy being reinforced from the nests we have just discovered. Master, we have the opportunity to find out more about the location of the Dark Angel ship. Affirmative, Brother Epistolary. Place an Augur Primus at the attached coordinates. Place the data transmitter. It will send information about nearby defense and energy systems to Grand Master Balliol, so that he can triangulate the location of the ancient ship. No surrender. 
Mission success, brother. Go to your assigned battle zone with your command squad. To counter our operation, gene-stealer-human hybrids attempted to propel a part of the Space Hulk into a gravity well. After a difficult battle, we defeated them. And we destroyed many nests that were supplying the enemy with constant reinforcements. As the aliens fell before our assaults, we gathered more precise information about the location of the ancient ship from Lost Caliban. We drew much ire from the Xenos, but matched it with our righteous hate and thrust towards the ancient signal like a blade into the heart of our foes. We are picking up a faint Dark Angel's beacon signal from a point where no warrior from the chapter should be. It seems to originate from the cluster of ships we believe may contain an ancient Dark Angel's vessel. You must secure the site and investigate the beacon's origin. Proceed with caution, brother. The secrets of the past pursue us. That signal is far beyond the advance of our vanguard squads. Signal identifies the remains as Brother Magon, a dark angel from the earliest days of the Imperium. Along with many brothers, he was lost with the ship Caliban's Will. That must be the vessel we have found. It was one of the cruisers sent back to Caliban with Luther during the Age of Heresy, 10,000 years ago. This confirms our suspicions. We must discover the fate of Caliban's Will and that of its crew. Brother Epistolary, use your powers to learn what you can of Magon. I saw a strange place, somewhere aboard the Caliban's will, and within, a, an artifact. It is this prize that brought us here, connected to the omens of future disaster. Shade of the Lion. If the visions of the Librarium are true, the chapter faces catastrophe, perhaps extinction. Suspend all current operations. The new priority is to secure the Caliban's will and to secure this artifact. Operation Pitch. The psychic backwash of my mental scan has awakened a dormant gene stealer swarm. They are gathering for an attack. Exterminate them before they assemble sufficient strength. Contact! 
Hamper Swarm is coming. Block the access bulkheads to hamper its progress. Mission success will greatly impede the Swarm's ability to gather. Mission success will allow other Deathwing squads to respond. and rear zones have been secured. You are safe to proceed to the Caliban's will. strange Dark Angel's beacon conducted us to the corpse of Brother Magon, a Dark Angel from the earliest days of the Imperium. Along with many brothers, he was lost with the ship Caliban's Will. It was one of the cruisers sent back to Caliban with Luther during the Age of Heresy, 10,000 years ago. This confirmed our suspicions. We had to discover the story of Caliban's Will and perhaps learn something of the loyalty and fate of its crew. I conducted a psychic scan that showed me a strange artifact inside the ancient Dark Angel ship. We had to find it at any cost. We needed to reach Caliban's will quickly, but more and more, I felt the encroaching psychic presence of an inhuman eye watching us, waiting in darkness. The identifier code of the trapped ship has been decrypted. 
mixed blessings, brother. We have located the Caliban's will, last recorded in action during the Horus Heresy, as we suspected. It can only be reached through another vessel, a crusade warship from the Black Templars that is listed as lost in the warp during the 39th millennium, identified in the archives as the Sanctum Encounter. It was launched by the missionaries Galaxia, but never reached its destination. The transport has impacted into the Caliban's will, and is preventing direct access to our ancient Legion ship. It is imperative that you seize the Sanctum Imperator, so that our forces can make a breach into the Caliban's will. Your attack must be swift. Orga crews have warned that elements of the nearby Tyranid High Fleet have changed course and are now heading directly toward the Alethros. Inside the Sanctum Imperator, these impious creatures will find much to conceal their whereabouts and movements. Be on your guard, brothers. Board the Caliban's will. Access has been blocked by an alien energy field. The power source for the energy field is a plasma reactor in your vicinity. Access the three power relays to redirect the energy flow from the reactor. Brother Librarian, guard well the souls of your companions. We have detected powerful psychic emanations from close to each region. These emanations might be from enemy psychics seem to be drawing the Tyranid fleet towards us. Eliminate the enemy psychers. Thank <laughs> you. 
the second contact. Oh, I felt the echo of Nost Kanan. As though we were dying. Your psychic revelation is of secondary importance. Hold fast and purify the area. Purge the Zenos. To enter Caliban's will, you must clear the battle zone and move the bridgehead to support the next phase of operation. Stay without mercy! Time is short. Commence boarding of Caliban's will immediately. Squads are on their way to create a new bridgehead. Part of the Tyranid fleet had begun to approach the Space Hulk. Belial tasked us with a mission to find a way to reach Caliban's will through another impacted vessel. A crusade warship from the Black Templars called the Sanctum Imperator. This ship was sent out from Terra to carry the Emperor's holy will to the galaxy, but was caught in the warp and crushed against Caliban's will. To enter the Dark Angel ship, we had to deactivate an energy field that was blocking our way. During this operation, I was psychically attacked by a powerful-minded creature. In its mind, I felt a dark angel presence. Though disturbed, I was heartened we had finally entered our ancestors' ancient ship. Your vision is deeply disturbing, Brother Librarian. And it may be an ill omen for our mission. But our desire to overcome will be as strong as beaten steel. You must identify the location you saw in the death memories of Brother Magon. To do so, place an Augur Primus in the main console of the ship's strategium. Let hate guide your weapons. These ancient corridors are laden with this honey. The long shadow of the heresy lies heavily upon them. It is both awe-inspiring and disquieting to tread them after so long. Anxious, brother. It would be the first time. It is not anxiety. That is why it is a problem. We must not be distracted from our duty. Stay vigilant.
deliberately omitted. A hidden gene seed vault, most likely. That is true. We must locate it and recover the gene seed. filled by an immense psychic echo. It really is a gene seed repository from before the loss of Caliban. Grandmaster, this is a prize most precious. We must ensure it's secured for the chapter. I have preempted you, Brother Nahum. Additional squads are closing on your position. the gene stealers from the Caliban's will. Leave nothing alive. The Xenos are coming. We have to exterminate them at all costs so that other squads can secure the Caliban's will.
we finally found the artifact that I had seen, and perhaps was the source of the visions that beset the Librarius. In the ancient Dark Angel ship, we uncovered a conservation chamber that held ancient gene seed from the Legion of the Lion, a gift of the Emperor's genius. Even as we celebrated this discovery, a terrible brood lord, the final evolution of gene stealers, assailed us, and we only vanquished it with much difficulty and loss. Our brothers came to our assistance, and with them we secured Caliban's will to ensure that no gene stealers would seize the precious gene seed. The strength of the Deathwing holds secure the Caliban's will, and the gene seed store is currently safeguarded. But the Emperor yet has labors for us. Tech Marine analysis of the second swarm of gene stealers revealed something that troubles my heart. The gene stealers have established a brood lair aboard the Caliban's will, close to the gene data they desire. Our gene seed, contained in the vault. As valuable as it is to the chapter, the gene stealers seek only to pillage and corrupt its secrets. This swarm of gene stealers already contains the code of our ancestors. They cannot reunite with the Tyranid fleet. The genetic code of the Lion and the Dark Angels, the grand creation of the Emperor, would be perverted into countless alien monstrosities. These abhorrent creatures must be destroyed quickly. Broods of hybrids have activated the energy grid powering nearby banks of savior pots, giving them the means to dispatch their gene-bearing abominations to the approaching Tyranid vessel. Stop this Xenos plot at all costs! Escort Brother Barakil to the Savior Array Interface Chamber. Mission parameters incoming. Every Xenos in this new swarm contains a mockery of our chapter's genetic heritage. Not a single gene stealer of this swarm can be assimilated by the Tyranids if we are to protect the purity of the chapter. If it happens, these monsters would defile our heritage. Let free the fury of your heavy weapon, brother. Come and survive.
Mission complete. Maximize the pod's destruction. We need to place a modified teleport beacon in the location I'm sending to you. It will allow our ship to pinpoint its gun batteries directly onto the pods, vaporizing them. We await your signal, brother. They have a witch, beast. Mission confirmation received. The ship will open fire once you've evacuated the area. Warrior strength. something terrible from the tech marines when they examined this second swarm of enemy. The conservation store had not been the only place that held our gene seed. The Xenos themselves had taken it into their bodies, corrupting it with their own alien gene code. Their brood lair aboard Caliban's will had been created in defense of the source of their lifeblood. The Dark Angel gene seed, contained in the vault. This brood of gene stealers had to be prevented from reuniting with the Tyranid fleet, lest our heritage be turned into some fresh abomination. We could not let that which our creator made for the defense of mankind be turned against his faithful people. Though hybrid Xenos attempted to launch savior pods containing their alien kin, we cut off the pod deployment and kept safe the blood heritage of Caliban. We cannot be complacent. There may be other means for the gene stealers to depart the Olethros, even though they are currently trapped aboard. Scan data has shown a vast horde of Xenos awakening from countless lairs and hiding places across the Space Hulk. Bolt, blade, and flame will not be enough to hold back this rising tide of Xenos filth. To slow down the gene stealer progression, we must seal off the airlock and stop them from accessing the Caliban's will. 
in order to eradicate the threat, I have ordered the armory to release supplies of a mutagenic virus to unleash on the enemy, but it is unstable and must be precisely deployed. We will gather more data using small cyber-altered task units. While they infiltrate the environmental systems and physical layout of the Space Hulk, the Deathwing will engage the enemy to allow the recon to take place. When the cats have completed their task, their machine spirits will guide them back to our lines. We must seal off the Caliban's will and prevent further incursions. For the hole, I feel a psychic echo from a brood lord. We have detected another brood lord. Exterminate it immediately. Brood lord in sight. of three hybrid psychers. The Broodlord's mind obscured their presence before. It is likely another attempt by the Brood to contact the Tyranid fleet. Eliminate them. Cannot pinpoint the location of the psychers. Find them, kill them, and take glory in their deaths. Feel where they are.
Vigilance, brothers. Stop us waiting for us. Kill confirmed, brothers. One less threat. The virus must be dispersed quickly. We will use the environmental systems to poison the Xenos. is spreading rapidly. That will delay the accursed Xenos. But the war is not yet won. Rendezvous in the next battle zone as swiftly as possible. It was impossible to remove the traces of our gene seed from the bodies of the aliens. So Grandmaster Belial vowed to destroy everything instead. To do so, we had to slow the oncoming tide of Xenos, far too many for even the Deathwing to hold back, with physical weapons. A mutagenic virus unleashed by the tech marines slowed their assaults, while machine spirit-guided cats scoured the space hulk for more evidence of the gene seed. A modified cat was deployed to recover vital gene data, but the situation in the space hulk and especially around Caliban's will was increasingly desperate. The longer we remained, the closer the Tyranid hive ships approached. The viral attack has been successful, but we are still not yet victorious. The Gene Stealer offensive has been devastated by the virus, but not halted. I have devised a plan to overload the reactors and destroy the Alethros, but we have a final opportunity to retrieve vital gene seed and samples before the conflagration consumes everything. 
modified cat has been deployed to recover lost gene data and a sample of the Dark Angel's gene seed. Brother, I need you to retrieve the cat before we can begin with the complete destruction of the Alethros. Sensorium returns indicate an impressive number of gene stealers. Hold the Caliban's will. Stay strong, brothers. Our mechanical ally is going to finish its analysis soon. This ship will be the The Gene Stealers are beyond counting, and cannot be slain by Bolter and Blade alone. You must execute an orderly retreat, but before leaving the Caliban's will, you must locate and retrieve the cat and the vital data it has gathered. Perhaps the secrets of the Legion Gene Seed hold the means to avoid the catastrophe predicted by the Librarians. Secure. Bring it to the extraction point.
You have to stay in a close perimeter around the cat to protect it while it hacks the lock.
position. Warrior Strahd in sight. All squads, fall back to the missionary ship. Great courage and great sacrifice, we recovered the cat and its precious data to safely dispatch them to Grand Master Belial. The situation inside the Space Hulk was rapidly deteriorating as the enemy fell upon our squads in ever greater numbers and strength. Yet, our objectives remained unchanged to purge the Olethros and ensure that the gene seed of the chapter did not fall into the clutches of the vile Tyranids. To preserve our strength for further battles, knowing that there would be no swift victory against the Tyranid menace, Belial withdrew the majority of his squads, leaving only a few of us to complete the final mission. Belial ordered that we would wait as long as possible for the enemy to draw close, and then set the plasma chambers to detonate, consuming both the Hulk and the bioships with the fiery rage of a man-made star. It was time for the final battle. With praise for the Emperor on our lips, we set upon the enemy with vigor. Our battle cry filled the Vox. For the Emperor! For the Lion! The enemy are greater in number than even I anticipated. We cannot hold the Caliban's will against them. Yet it is our duty to deny the Tyranids the Gene Seed inside both the Vault and the Gene Stealers themselves. The Emperor forged genes of the Dark Angels would become a weapon of the Hive Fleets turned against us. The Chapter must not allow such a dishonorable fate. Though the psychic signal drawing the Tyranids has been weakened by the death of many hybrid psychers, the Hive ships are dangerously near and still closing. We have an opportunity here, not only to protect the Emperor's legacy, but to strike a blow in the war against the High Fleets. As they would attempt to turn our own strength upon us, we will use the enemy's powers against them to turn the Alethros into the means of their destruction. The psychic signal from the Xenos Psychers continues to lure the bioships from the Tyranid High Fleet. You will hold until they are close enough and then you will set the plasma reactors to overload before exiting. The explosion will cause the complete destruction of the Space Hulk, and the conflagration will consume the Hive ships as they feed. Let righteous fire cleanse this system of their taint.
Exterminatus Extremis. Activate the relays to overload the reactor. The Terminus mission. We shall not return, but our glory will live on. By such battles is honor won, and legends created. It promises to be an impressive explosion, but I hope to see it from the outside rather than from the inside. How dull. But if that is to be so, I shall be comforted by our future opportunities to chastise more enemies of the Emperor. Bring our sword! Fortify your soul! Dangerously close, and still closing. Warning, one last relay must be reactivated to overload the plasma reactor. Critical reactor detonation imminent. The resultant explosion will consume the space hulk.
go to the main shrine. We have teleport the lock to return you to the Sprite Cruiser. Plasma chamber detonation countdown activated. Do not delay. Purge! <laughs> 